so much. Thank you. Uh, so I'm actually coming to you from New Jersey tonight. Woo! I'm glad you're excited about that. <laughs> I'm not. That's why it's good to be here. Uh, but yeah, that's a better response than I was expecting. Because I know there's a bit of a rift between New York and New Jersey, right? Because people from New York are always acting like people from New Jersey are trash. People from yep. New Jersey are always acting like trash. So. <laughs> People are always asking me if I'm Jewish, and I am, but it's a rude fucking question, Because right? <laughs> asking someone if they're Jewish is really just like asking a woman if she's pregnant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so like, so what's even wrong with that? <laughs> well, it is, because there's nothing wrong with being Jewish or with being pregnant, but there's also no flattering reason for someone to think you're either one. <laughs> See, I'm right, yeah. In, in fact, at least when someone has a woman and she's pregnant, it's always in a really friendly tone, right? And it's like this friendly, admiring, oh, are you pregnant? <laughs> no one's ever asked me if I'm Jewish sounding impressed or intrigued. Right? <laughs> I've never had a woman call up and be like, are you Jewish? Like, no, no. I've never asked like that. <laughs> That's like they're trying to solve a murder. Are you Jewish? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to flip that hot <laughs> We know you did it. We got you on camera at Ben's Deli, stuffing down a corned beef sandwich on Brian. We're on you! <laughs> Doesn't feel good. <laughs> I'm glad you like that so much. I should probably just spend the rest of my set talking like an old-timey detective. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the deal? No, I'm not gonna. Do it. Yeah, I'm a Jew. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling with sugar nuts. But I digress. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. But it is insulting, because Jews have no positive stereotypes. Right? Even the most flattering one is always followed by an insult, right? Hey, you know those Jews, they have a lot of money. And they're always so stingy with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not fair, you're never gonna hear a kid. You know every black guy has a huge penis, and they all use them to control the media. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I love doing that joke in New York, it's so Jewy. You guys get it. <laughs> Been single for a while. And uh, it's okay, I know it's hard whether you're single or in a relationship, right? Because the grass is always greener. When you're single, you're like, oh man, I really wish I were in a relationship right now. And when you're in a committed relationship, you're like, oh man, I really wish I were dead right now. You know, so, <laughs> love that too much. Do you have a boyfriend? I hope not. Uh, <laughs> it has been, it has been hard trying to get out there and date and meet women. So I've actually been using dating apps ever since they were invented. Uh, <laughs> no shame in the game, I use them all. Tinder, Bumble, Black People Meet. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm obviously not black, but I'm willing to convert, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like those jokes. You know who really love those jokes? My girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> no, those jokes, they're all 100% girlfriend approved. Because here's the thing. When we first started dating, to tell my ex, she said, you still do jokes about being single? And I was like, yeah, why? Do you want me to do jokes about you? She was like, nah, you're good. Don't. Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I said, I'm so glad we had this conversation. This is going to make a great bit. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, I, uh, I love sex. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're too good. You'll get this. Good. No, no, no. My people. Uh, I do. I love sex, I even have it sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but I also love how many different names there are for sex, right? So many hot, sexy terms we use. You know, fuck it. <laughs> Getting it all. <laughs> Doing the nasty. <laughs> Tapping that ass, right? Yeah. Yeah, hot, sexy terms, except for when I said them. I know. But <laughs> there are also some not so sexy terms to describe sex, right? Get your course. <laughs> Copulation. <laughs> relations. I that one. Relations? Are we fucking or at a UN meeting? <laughs> now, granted, you can't spell ambassador without that ass. That is true. <laughs> so you just said uh, Ambador? That just sounds like a sleep medication. Oh my god. Uh, I think the worst name for sex, we can probably all agree. Guess what? Coitus! Yes! yes. <laughs> Spoiler alert! I hate you so much. No, it works in your spirit. It's good. No, it is. It is. It, it doesn't even sound like it should be a technical term for sex, right? Like I mentioned, I'm Jewish, but if somebody told me Coitus was their Hebrew name, I'd probably believe that. It's <laughs> so yes, you're right. You got it. <laughs> I, uh, a lot of people tell me I need Jesus. Uh, but fuck that. I need no man. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, honestly, when it comes to religion, I believe that God is love. Because we're both not real. So, yeah. all right. I know that joke brings up a bit of a sensitive issue, so let's talk about suicide. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, my life isn't perfect. Sometimes I do think about killing myself. When I think about killing myself, I think about my family. And when I think about my family, I think I should kill them first. No! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> it's okay, we get along very well. Uh, they come to my show sometimes, I do the bit they do the <laughs> Speaking of suicide, uh, no, I just segue that way to make you uncomfortable. It's okay. Uh, uh, I used to be an emo kid. Uh, uh, yeah, you too? Okay, good. Uh, I'll do the bit then. Okay, good. All right. With all the fence, let's do it. Uh, I'm, I'm not anymore, but my favorite band is still Simple Plan. Uh, yeah, uh, Simple Plan. Uh, with their pop punk voices that sounded like the voice you would use as a kid when you wanted to mock your parents. You know, the uppercase, lowercase voice from the SpongeBob meme. <laughs> do your homework. Do your homework! That was that. Oh, I loved it. Oh, Simple Plan. They knew me so well. They knew you so well. They knew us so well. Do you ever feel like breaking down? Do you ever feel out of place? Mm, I thought you'd never yes. ask. <laughs> The best part is they still tour. And they still do all those same wonderful songs about teen angst, except now they're old as fuck. And it's not the same. I'm just that kid. No, you're not. You're fucking 80. What the fuck? <laughs> they should just do all the same songs that they did when they were young, but with different lyrics to reflect what my life's all about. Right? Like, I can just. She agrees. Good. I, I can just imagine them jamming out on stage, right? They'd go up and be like, no, you don't know what it's like to be like me, to be old <laughs> and have kids <laughs> and a wife that you don't love. You would get a divorce, but then she'd get half your stuff, <laughs> and you'd kill her, but you can't because your kids can't keep a secret. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> no, but you've been wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs>